What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some blue lock. Today we are doing season one, episode four. Now I did just wake up. I am kind of tired, so give me just a minute to kind of get into it, get things back to the normal dapper vibe and dapper flow. But this one is called Premonition and Intuition. And we took kind of an L last episode, but we have rechanging our mental, our mindset, getting back into it, turning from zero to one. So I'm very excited, especially with all the characters. They're showing a lot of different screen time too, a lot more than Isagi generally and you know we're early on in the show but i can already tell these characters are going to be so crazy out there and super fun so i'm excited hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section don't forget to subscribe click that notifications bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel make sure you guys check out that patreon for the full uncut versions of this episode as well as early access and uncuts to the other shows one piece kuroko in a basket assassination classroom all that jazz uh, let's hop right on into it premonition and intuition blue lock episode four let's do it magnificent shooting <laughs> sexy soccer everyone's going over their pros and cons their physical attributes you know <laughs> you never give up attitude Isuki's like i'm just kind of an average dude i'm yeah <laughs> <laughs> Is it weird that I, I hear Inosuke every time I hear him talk? Not telling. They showed a lot of emphasis on Chigiri during the ending, so I'm curious about him. So not only will they might win, everyone has an equal strategy to shine. Operation next up, it's me 11. Hmm. Ooh. Some Nato again. You gotta get a higher rank, bro, so your side dishes can be better, you know? Alright, it's been a week total. That's something we gotta work on. I feel like that that monster that Bachira talks about is gonna be a part of it, and we are gonna develop a weapon. It's gonna be something specific to Isagi. And it's gonna help with his confidence a little bit. I'm ready for it. What up, Kunigami? I was just here, Kagami. For that pass. Nice ball. I can already tell I'm really going to like Kunigami a lot just because of his voice actor. I love Kagami. Trying to get some reasoning for people's motivations, their ambitions, you know? A soccer superhero. Talk about a quick answer. What do you mean by that? See? He didn't look up to heroes, robots, or pirate kings. Okay, Luffy. Those are just the heroes in his, li his life. The people who inspire him. We all have those, you know? Yeah, and they were real. I do like that aspect, you know? There's something tangible you can actually go cling on to. Actually be in real life. No matter how your ambition, you know? I respect that. Someone who's not afraid or embarrassed to say his dreams, ambitions, and willing to fight for it, you know? He's gonna be a real-life football superhero. I do I do think that's cool. <laughs> I do think you're kind of badass. I already knew I would like Kunigami. God damn, that's what you're eating? Or you're eating natto? Isn't natto like fermented beans or some shit? You can trade your points for prizes. One goal is one point. Exchange your points for prizes. One point equals a 300 gram sirloin steak. Um, massage. Get cell phone back. Luxurious comfy bed. A one day outside the blue lock. Something like that. Is that what it says? A one day outside the blue lock pass. Mm, interesting. This is so much like Squid Games. Ah, so that's why he's going to split it with you. Shouts out Kunigami. I don't want to pause it, talk too long, but I love how he really doesn't have an answer for it. It was sort of unconscious, like a reflex. But I love when it did happen, the animation that it showed us didn't just say he was doing that for no apparent reason. It showed, it zoomed out, and then it showed the entire field, like a bird's eye view, like someone doing a blueprint strategy, like a naval commander, and then choosing the best decision. Like, it's, it's clear that whatever monster is in this man has the Byakugan and knew that Kunigami was going to make that. Like, it's actually crazy. I smelled it. I smelled a goal. Talk about a way to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 
funny. Maybe the monster is your weapon. True. Izuki out here is one of the goats in Kuroko no Basket specifically for that reason. Now, I was wondering in the ending why it shows a lot of Kunigami, it shows a lot of Bachira and uh, Chigiri. But I would not be surprised if we became like a squad in the show and I love it. Come on. This is the homeboy already. This is the dude. This is my new number two right here. Kunigami. Fuck yeah. Team Y. Team Y. And they are number nine. His shooting's off the chart. Okawa. Ooh. The jukes. Yeah. I love when they animate it like that. Yeah, when you think about it like that, you guys have a relatively strong team. You guys will find an opening. Come on, I got faith. Wingers move. Now Kunigami's at the front. But they blocked this. Yeah. Immediately countered Kunigami's weapon. What's going on? Now they're going. Now they're going on the attack. Okawa, who's been quiet the whole time. Nico to clear up downfield. This guy's a sniper. This guy's a sniper of the team. That pass was crazy. Oh my god, you got Nico. Okay. Oh, the fake out. You expect you to go full brazen downward with aggression, but not a little light rainbow kick. Oh, okay, header. That's out my boy Kuon. Yeah, this they're this is a good strategy. Yeah, they're running down the clock once they have the lead. I mean, they're playing it sort of defensively, but that's how they have to do it. Smart, we'll say. Jesus. I mean, Chigiri's not wrong. It's a valid rebuttal, though. We don't even know your weapon. Instead of, instead of everyone's weapons just being shown for fairness and equality, we should choose the weapons specifically that counter them. Okay, Gagamaru. His weapon is his incredible agility. Oh. It got blocked, but I respect the full frontal dive header. He even slid on his face. Oh. I was like, no, I think that's your monster, buddy. This premonition comes from... We misread the situation. Is Nico? Anytime they do that, you know it's badass. Yeah, he stopped Nico, Nico from getting it? The beating heart of Team Y. Ooh. The premonition is the monster telling him, you gotta mark this dude. Okay, Mr. Bangs. You see. Bro, if Isagi makes this, come on. Oh. Nico said, hey, buddy, you're not the only one on my ass. I'm on yours. That fucking shot. My man is taking so many physical injuries just trying to get these goals in. That shot where it went from Isugi's foot over to Gagamaru. Oh, it was one of the sickest shots I've seen. Shouts out Gagamaru. Don't tell me this is the end of this episode. 
You have the same eyes as me. They have those analytical decision making eyes. The bird I love the bird's eye view, the Byakugan, all that shit. Sniper fucking Nico. You bastard with bangs. God damn my top. This show is so damn good. Well, talk about an episode. We're starting our elimination match against Team Y. Even though Okawa is the known threat and mark of that team because of his insane shooting skills, Nico is the true heart and blood of that team because of his crazy passes, his decision making, his leadership due to his eyes that he said Isagi has the same eyes as. That's so sick. I love that. I love the way they animated him getting the premonition of Nico. Like, what the hell was that? Like the monster, but it was it was Nico's heartbeat he said he was able to hear. And he said, like, with Kunigami, he could hear the heartbeat of Nico. He could smell the goal on Kunigami. Like, what are these fucking senses this man has? I don't know if it's, like, physical. Like, he could actually smell the goal. But you know what he's trying to... He could, he could see a goal, the possibility, especially over um, Raichi, who is technically more open. But it is very interesting. And I love how Kunigami thanked him for that goal and split that technically with him because he traded in his point for Sirloin Steak. And then traded that with Isagi. So shouts out to Kunigami. I love Kagami's voice actor. I'm loving him as a character so far. I love his reasoning. He wants to be a real life football superhero. Uh, this, oh, this is so good, man. We're going against Team Y right now, trying to do this round. Uh, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Round how round robin style show off our talents and our powers. Uh, teamwork strategy which is okay but i'm very interested in what shigiri is saying because he's he, i definitely can tell he's going to be a very big character but i need to know what's going to make him get into the fold and what give me all the details about that but uh right now it's going to be isagi versus nico gagamaru was also super sick shouts out to Iemon and and shigiri for staying on defense the whole time this is just so sick i am Oh, I'm loving this so much. Bachira as well being amazing. I don't know, man. I just... Saturdays are just stacked for me. Like, my hero, Spy Family, and this. I love it so much. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon. Full uncut versions. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.